All right, really quickly, I wanna show you how you can format a cell in a spreadsheet to show an improper fraction. So if I have a, a numerator of say 23, a denominator of 12, and I wanna put a fraction over here that represents these two. So I might say that equals 23 over 12. Well, it's gonna give me the decimal value because what I did there is I divided. But what if I wanted this as a, um, a fraction? So in the formatting under number, we actually have quite a few different fraction formats. Now I have them visible for me here. You might not have them all visible for you here. You might have to go under more formats. And this is where you'll get all of the different custom formats available to you. So if you click on custom format, you'll see there's gonna be a couple of fraction formats for you. It'll show you a preview of what it is you're going to see. If you don't have this top one right here, you're gonna to wanna to type that in. So it's three question marks slash three question marks, semicolon, a negative sign, three question marks slash three question marks. The idea here is what is this doing? Okay, well it's saying, okay, roughly three digits. You could go more if you wanted to, but we just say three because we're not usually gonna have fractions with more than three digits over another three digits and you can allow negatives because if we don't put this one in, it just doesn't show the negative sign. It actually uh, doesn't, doesn't show it for some reason. And you want to apply that to the uh, square, square or cell that you're on. So I'm gonna hit apply and there I've got my improper fraction. It didn't give me a whole number to begin with. It is actually showing the numerator as a heavier number or a bigger number. It'll even simplify the fractions for you, but it'll still show it as a fraction. So you can see here I got two over one. And there you go. That's how you can get a custom format. I'll just show it one last time here for an improper fraction in a spreadsheet.